This is code.org, and let's see what we have here. Move forward as long as the painter object can move in the direction it's facing. Write the method move fast and use it in the neighborhood class. All right, let me pause for a second, guys. You see this code I have? You probably don't have it. I, in fact, I know you don't. You might have other stuff there, which is fine. I'm going to leave what I have here, but don't be concerned if you're not seeing this. This could be carried over from another lesson, and I'm going to make modifications. So this isn't going to be right or anything. At least I doubt it, but I'll leave it for now. Okay, so I need to make a new method called move fast in the painter plus class. First off, boom, got to go to the painter plus class to do that. Second off, I, I, I need to write the method. All right, so let's see, move fast. I'm going to use some scary words and don't be scared. Uh, well, first, I'm just going to write a comment. Move as long as I can or something like that to describe my method. You can make your own comment. Comments aren't necessarily required, but it's good practice. And now we're writing a method signature. Ah! You could just reference this one to get an idea. So I'm going to write public, meaning we can use this method everywhere. Void, meaning we're not returning a number or a string to use. We're just running some code. And then the name of the method, which is move fast. I, we're using camel case, so there's a capital F. Boom. All right, this is my method. Method signature, it's called that because that's where we give the method a name, just like when you sign yours. Now, what do we want this to do? Uh, write method move fast to have a painter object move toward as long, move forward as long as it can move in the direction it's facing. That sounds like a condition. So it is a loop. So I'm going to use a while, uh, while loop, while, and then parentheses. Now, the condition is what I'll use uh, to check to perform a specific action. Um, I'm going to get back to that in a second because I'm first going to do my uh, curly brackets and enter. So what do I want to check? Hmm. I want to know if I am able to move. And maybe you don't have all the methods memorized from the painter class. Shockingly, I don't. And so I'm headed over here. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm first going to go to the painter class. Ta-da! And now open this up so it's easier for me to see. Now, what could I use to see if I could move? Oh, look, can move. And it will return true or false as long as the painter can move. If I'm being blocked, it will return false. Well, that sounds like it has a ton of potential. So here, I'm going to, you know, go ahead and write Alex was the name of my painter, can move. And I'm writing Alex because I'm going to be wrong here to make this point. You actually can't do this. Alex, my object, or maybe you called yours Fred or painter, I don't know, right here does not exist over here. We can actually just call this method can move directly. And that is because painter plus is a subclass of painter. It is built on top of painter. Painter has the can move functionality. So no dots needed. I can just do that. And that being said, as long as we can move, I want to move. Real quick reminder what a loop does. Everything between this curly bracket and this curly bracket will repeat as long as this thing here is true. So every time the computer runs this, it says, hey, can I move? Maybe my painter's right here. And it says, well, if I'm facing this way, true, right? You can move. If this is true, boom, it drops in and I move. Hits the bottom, goes back to the top. I'm now here. And it says, hey, can you move? Computer looks. Yep, you can move. That's true. Boom, drops in and I move forward. I keep repeating until I'm here facing down. It says, can I move? No, you'd smack your face into this wall or whatever, the sidewalk. Uh, and so this is false, it does not run the code inside. Instead, it drops beneath this and runs whatever's below, except there's nothing below, so it would just go back to where the method is called. All right, so this all looks good, and I'm just going to hit run to see if it yells at me right now. Yeah, okay. Now again, I need to edit this functionality now. So I already created my painter, named him Alex. Uh, you can create your painter and name it whatever you want. Maybe give it your own name, maybe just call it, you know, I don't know, my painter. Whatever you need to do, just make sure you use that throughout your uh code okay so what's the goal i just need to object move forward as long as i can painter class use move fast they call my move fast great uh to navigate in the neighborhood so i guess i just have to get to the end of here so that means i can pretty much delete all of this and my first thing is i'm gonna do do i have to turn what direction i'm just gonna do move fast except i have to do alex dot now because now it's my object that has the ability to perform this functionality. Oh, and I did need a turn. So uh, I'm going to do alex.turn 
right? And that's because we wrote this turn right method. So if you don't have that, you need to add it or you need to turn left uh, three times. Boom, cool. Okay, now what? Well, now I'm gonna have to turn left and do this again. Boom, and now I'm gonna, well, keep going. Ta-da! And look how much code this is. It would have been so many lines to do that before. A few things. You might have yours a bit different than mine, right? Maybe instead of doing turn and just move, you could have done move fast again. Um, I would suggest mo just move is quote unquote more correct, but that would still work. And there's more one than one way to be correct in code. Um, you also might have it separated out differently. I certainly doubt you named yours Alex, but yeah, cool. Onward.